fluffy unicorn. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. He's so fluffy. Does this count as annoying? It's so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, YouTube and YouTube viewers. It is Kelly Williams again, and we're going to show you guys a flamingo. Because we're at the flamingo. Bye, flamingos. Flamingo. One more time. It sounds weird. Flamingo. Okay, you're getting four balloons, a pink 260, a pink 160, a white 260, and a black 160 for the beak. Let's make tradition the face first. So a... There we go. Alright, so black 160 inflated halfway. Alright, so we're going to make two really juicy fat ear twists. So, try to get over the way. Hold the nozzle, not not. Twist it. Repeat the same set, the same size. Yes. And then, do a one inch bubble to the bottom of the beak, followed by a four finger bubble to the top of the beak. To make a curve for that bird beak effect. Okay. And, a pink 160 for the face itself. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, another flamingo pop. So we're going to make the, grab the knot again, attach that to the beak, hiding the ugly coat jump, make a three or four finger bubble to the face, followed by another bubble, the same size, and connect. Now you're going to go slightly longer so the ovals, so this was three, this is four, so it's slightly longer. Roll through the middle. And I go in off axis, so it kind of locks. That's going to give us the beat. Now it's going to need two ear twists to hold the neck straight. Kind of small. Oops. Not dropping. Like so. Now it's going to need a pair of eyes. We use a white 260. Not around because the round will be too wide, but the 260 will be just the right size for using ear twists. We're going to do a split twist, making two half-inch bubbles. Lock twist, and reverse split. Make it even size. Now we're going to hook those into the face. going to give us a mini flamingo neck. Curve it. Curve a little bit so you have more of that flamingo effect. The pink 260. Gloves about five, six fingers. We're going to break a lot off. This also the bracelet attachment. Make a one inch ear twist. Followed by a four finger bubble. So we go on top of the wrist. Followed by another ear twist. Now we're make this the back of the tail. So we add a two finger bubble, kind of soft. Followed by an ear twist. Repeat that back down, so two finger bubble. Lock that into the body. Followed by a four finger bubble to line up and attach those. So they lock. Now, are you picking those children? Sorry. Are you picking those out for children? Um, this is actually a tutorial for other balloon artists, but when it's done, you can by all means have it. This is actually a tutorial for other balloon artists and learning how to make it. So when it's done, I don't need it, you can have it. I have two grand balloons. Okay, we'll make them something as soon as I'm done filming this. So we have the body, the flamingo, the neck, come down right after your two curves you've made, and attach that to the section in the front. Now make this really soft, it's slightly longer than the bracelet section, and attach that into the back of your twist. Now we're going to go up and down the tail. We want the half as long as these, so make it a one finger bubble, a kind of small, so that it pulls on it as you push it. Repeat the same step, and lock that into the body, giving you that kind of bunched up tail look. Now the same thing, a soft four finger bubble, back to the very beginning again. Now you have the two sticks on the bottom, 
two more sixes on top, they're kind of saucy, move them around. And we're going to come from the outside, going into the inside, so it wraps around the balloon, and attaches back to the tail. So you want to kind of do this S effect. Then you're going to go from the inside again, now going to the outside. And stick the neck into the middle, securing it. Bracelets. Make something. 